Yo, welcome back to another Madden video, and today we are going to be testing how good Ryan Tannehill is, really. And this is a new series we're starting up in Madden, where we test how good they are, really. As you see, really is in all caps, because we are going to mess around with them, and see how they do in a lesser scenario. As we know, Ryan Tannehill, um, he's been pretty good with the Titans so far, but when he was the Dolphins, he didn't do that good. So... You gotta think, is Ryan Tannehill maybe getting carried by his decent offensive line and his very good run game and his good receiving core? Who knows? We're gonna test that with Madden today. Here's his stats right here. Obviously, in Miami, they're much worse, but that's when Miami was in some terrible, terrible times. But he has been pretty good with the Tennessee Titans. Uh, it doesn't say his last year's stats, which is annoying, but I will put them up on the screen um, later in the video. But yes, as you can see right here, he's just been better overall as a Tennessee Titan. So let's go in and see how he does in a worse situation. Now, obviously, I know what you're thinking. Well, you put him in a worse, worse situation, he's going to do worse, obviously. So yes, we are expecting him to do like a little bit worse, but it all depends on how bad his numbers drop. And we are going to put him not in like a terrible situation, but we're just going to put him like in kind of a bad situation. As you right here, decent receivers, A.J. Brown. They did have Corey Davis last year. I mean, I know they don't have him now, but I'm just saying off last year's stats. And there's a decent, decent offensive line. It's right there, three eighties and then a 76 and then a 71. So, yeah, pretty decent. Um, let's go ahead and see how he does, though. And I'm going to put him back on his old team, the Miami Dolphins. Because I just feel like they're good for the scenario. I mean, they got a below average offensive line, uh, a a little, um, an average, an average receiving core, and a bad running back so far off the overall. I mean, Miles Gaskins, yes, he has all the potential in the world. Who knows? Maybe he could turn out to be Derrick Henry someday. I mean, I highly doubt it because he's much smaller. But who knows? Maybe he'll like. Be really good someday. But as of right now, Miles Gaskins is only a 75 overall. But he still has Mike Jasicki, so it's like... And he has Will Fuller, and then he has Devontae Parker, and then he has an up-and-coming rookie, Jalen Waddell. Um, so, that, that's what I did. And then they got um pretty good defense, by the way. I did sign a right guard just because the right guard originally was a 59 when I loaded into the Dolphins. I thought that was a little too unfair, so I did sign him a right guard to make it just a little bit better on his part, and then there's the defense. Defense definitely the better part of the Miami Dolphins, so let's go ahead and see how he does back in Miami. All right, and he loses his first game against the Patriots. Um, 21 to 24, very close game. Let's go and see how Ryan Tannehill did. One touchdown, one interception, 219 yards, and a passer rating of 82.9. Let's see how Cam Newton did. They're rolling with Cam Newton as a starter right now. Um, James White got fifth or 15 attempts for 55 yards. Miles Gaskin, 49 yards. Um, an average 3.3, nothing special. Ahmed got a touchdown off of seven attempts and 12 yards. Uh, pretty bad rushing, so good thing you got a touchdown there. And receiving, let's see if his receivers did much. Devontae Parker, not really. Seven receptions for 63 yards. Mike Jasicki, six receptions for 51 yards. And then Jalen Wando down there, four receptions for 43 yards. Will Fuller, really not doing too much with four receptions, 35 yards. So not that great in the first game, but let's go ahead and see how he does in the next game. Gets the Buffalo Bills. He gets a win, 27-24. to All right. That's a pretty big win. Um, obviously, the Bills are a powerhouse team now. Uh, Josh Allen, two touchdowns, one interception, 287 yards. Ryan Tannehill didn't have that good of a game. Zero touchdowns, uh, also zero interceptions as well, 269 yards. Miles Gaskin, 63 yards. Um, Devin Singletary, 40 yards. Uh, Patrick Lard, uh, 29 yards. Ahaman, two rushing touchdowns. So, Ahaman is getting the touchdowns for us right off the bat. Matt Breda for the... Uh, Bill is getting a rushing touchdown. Wolf Fuller, 92 yards. Um, Devontae Parker, 78 yards. And let's see here. Mike Jasicki, 37 off of four receptions. All right. This is less. Um, we're going to assume. All right. We're going to sim, I mean. Uh, 28 and a 24 with a Dolphins win. Zach Wilson, two touchdowns, zero interceptions, 237 yards. Brian Tannehill, 268 yards, two touchdowns, and two interceptions, and a rating at 88.7. Whew, 
I mean, Ryan Tannehill isn't looking that great so far, judging off these few couple games we've seen. Miles Gaskin, 61 yards. Um, Patrick Lord uh, with a touchdown. And then Ryan Tannehill, he ran a little bit. Ooh, the rookie for the... Um, for the Jets, Michael Carter got a touchdown off the of, off the one run. Will Fuller, um, seventy two yards. Corey Davis, seventy one yards. Uh, facing a former teammate, Ryan Tannehill. Um, Jalen Waddle, fifty three yards. And Patrick Lard got a receiving touchdown. All right, so this is how they did at the end of the year. The Dolphins went five and eleven. Huge step back. What they went. I mean, the Dolphins were in the hunt of making playoffs last year. I know they didn't, but they were still in the hunt. So, and now they're going five and eleven. That's a big drawback. Ryan Tannehill stats is right here. Um, we'll get more into that later, but let's just go over a quick rundown of it right now. Three thousand five hundred yards, twenty four touchdowns, eleven interceptions, completion percentage of sixty one, average yards per game two hundred uh, twenty two, two hundred twenty two. Uh, sack 32 times. So that's his yards right there. We'll get more into that later. Um, uh, prom- I'll promise you. Uh, 833 yards for Jalen Waddle with four touchdowns. Not too bad for a rookie year. Mike Jasicki, 823 yards with eight eight touchdowns, and then Will Fuller with 799 with six touchdowns. Devontae Park with two touchdowns, 609. Um, so pretty good. All right, now so we're really getting to the stats. We go ahead and look how he did in 2020 because 2020 was his best year as a Titan versus the Madden stats. As you see right here, 2020, he has more passing yards, more passing touchdowns, less interceptions, a way better rating, a way, way better passer rating. Go ahead and pause if you need to to go ahead and uh, assume all this information and he had more passing yards per game. So that's how Ryan Tannehill does with the team. Madden says he is production of a really good run game and a decent offensive line and a decent receiving core. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Check out our Instagram, Straight Smoke YT. Bye.